Live from New York City, it's The Cube. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here. We are at the Cube's fifth birthday party at uh, Big Data NYC 2014. We just came off our Capital Markets uh, panel, first time ever. Now we're having our party, we're having a good time, so we're just giving you a little flavor of what's going on here in, in New York City. Joined here by my next guest, Urshad Righthand. I get that right? Perfect. Big Data Product Marketing from Red Hat, so welcome. Yeah, thanks Jeff, appreciate you having me. So what do you think of uh, the show so far? It's crazy, it's over at Javits, they've never had it at Javits, so what's the vibe over there? It, it, it's, it's super, lots of energy, as you said, uh, lots of folks, and just lots of, uh, lots of news going on. Uh, we love the panel, by the way. Appreciate you inviting us to the panel. Uh, lots of great insights that we're seeing from customers. Uh, uh, particularly, one statement that I think stood out from the keynote this morning was when Mike Olson talked about Hadoop just disappearing. And, you know, in you wouldn't expect Mike Olson to say Hadoop is going to disappear, <laughs> exactly. right? Not what you would really think he would say. Exactly. So what do you think he meant by that? Or I, dig I, it a little bit. I, I think, you know, we take it in a very positive way where uh, really Hadoop is now being treated as being governed and, and secured like any other enterprise IT platform. Form. And it's disappearing from from the view, which is what you want it to want you know, happen, and really be something that's under the covers, and the focus be on the apps and the analytics on top of it. Right. I think Jeff talked a little bit about that too on the um, on the panel in terms of you know what are some of these really big data uh, applications as opposed to the platform. So what about you guys? Have any big announcements here at the show? Oh, absolutely. We have a lot lot to, to talk about. Uh, obviously, we've got big news with Cloudera. Want to talk about the new alliance that's been forged, and and really it's about you know building building agile, enterprise-ready, cloud-ready uh, big data platforms together. And you know, both companies are obviously committed to open source innovation and, and to Hadoop and the broader big data ecosystem and being able to uh, really uh, take that, that enterprise adoption uh, further along, as, as Mike said, is really the, the aim of the, the alliance. And, and are you out talking to customers much? What are you kind of hearing from the field? Absolutely. We're, we're seeing a lot of great customer traction, right? What we see customers ask for is, you know, we want something that's open, modular, that, that, lets, that gives us the agility and the choice to be able to build a solution that's best for our workload, rather than working with you know, a thick stack of solutions that, that uh, really doesn't solve uh, the particular problem that they're, they have at hand. What's one of your favorite stories of people that are really getting, because a lot of the talk today is about where's the value? The value's going to come from the customer's unlocking value, right? 10x, 100x, whatever their spend is. Do you have any fun stories you could share with the crowd of a, of a customer who's approved to be talked about, I guess, yeah. of some fun fun examples? Oh, absolutely. We have, uh, uh, we have a great alliance with uh, Splunk and around operational analytics, and I think you spoke to Greg Kleiman at uh, That's back right. in the... That's right, we were at Splunk.conf uh, last week. Exactly, and and we have some great stories there about companies being able to save you know just a ton of money, being able to uh, deploy these uh, analytics uh, of workloads to x86 servers, and be able to do things in you know much faster time than it was ever possible before. So we're talking you know seconds and minutes as opposed to hours and days. So right there, we've got you know huge cost efficiencies, uh, huge efficiencies in, in being able to reuse some Red Hat Enterprise Linux skills to Red Hat storage, so great stories around uh, big data there. So what do you think about the comment from the panel about who's going to be the next, the, you know, is there going to be a Red Hat of Hadoop? Yeah, I thought that was, that was pretty interesting. you are Red Hat, right? Absolutely, <laughs> that was pretty interesting and, you know, of course we were high-fiving because, uh, you know, certainly around the, the new alliance with, with Cloudera, I think it's it's great news for, for both, both companies. And again, you know, we're committed to doing what's best for the customer, giving them as much agility and choice in the solution at the end of the day, uh, and really building, that, building something that's best of breed. So, uh, you know, just given our legacy and, and given our, our footprint in the enterprise data center and now being able to build up from there with, you know, anything from middleware to Red Hat storage to OpenShift and OpenStack, uh, I think you know, we were just poised for a lot of success going forward. All right, excellent. Orsha, thanks for taking a minute out of the party. I'm Jeff Frick. We're on the ground at Big Data NYC in Manhattan as part of this uh, Big Data Week in New York City.